Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Jump Ball Central. Today we're going to be looking at NBA trade deadline hidden gems. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button for more of our great videos. Let's get into it. The NBA trade deadline has been pushed back this season as all 30 franchises will have until March 25th to tinker with their rosters through deals with other teams. First up, we've got the Rockets, PJ Tucker and Eric Gordon. Tucker and Gordon are the few remaining remnants from the James Harden-led Houston Rockets team of seasons past. These two veterans are not expected to be part of H-Town's long-term plans as they begin a new era centered around Wall and Christian Wood. A lot of contenders are already lining up to get a shot at Tucker and his expiring $7.9 million deal ahead of the NBA trade deadline. Plus, it seems that the 6 foot 5 forward is already as good as gone from Clutch City, given his frustrations with his current contract. Tucker's ability to defend multiple positions and stretch the defence remains enticing for other teams. As for Gordon, other contenders could also use his leadership and shooting prowess, however his large contract might be trickier to move before the deadline. Next up, it's the Pelicans, JJ Redick and Lonzo Ball. The New Orleans Pelicans have openly shopped around Redick and Ball in a bid to free up minutes for their young backcourt of Nikhil Alexander-Walker and Kira Lewis Jr. Given that shooting is a premium these days, a lot of suitors are already closely monitoring the Redick situation. His remaining one-year deal is perfect for contenders looking to clear room next season. The former Duke standout is the perfect rental for teams looking to add more firepower to their bench. Ball, meanwhile, is a wildcard at this stage of his career. He has had an uneven start to this season ahead of his restricted free agency, so there are questions about his long-term future and how much to pay him on his next deal. However, the Pelicans' guard is still a young, intriguing option for teams looking for help in the backcourt. Next up, it's the Pistons, Derrick Rose and Wayne Ellington. Rose has been pegged as one of the most viable trade pieces ever since the season began, so it would be no surprise to see him move before the NBA trade deadline. The youngest MVP in league history, after all, is on the final year of a budget-friendly contract. While he's no longer the same franchise player he once was, the 32-year-old speedster is still a lethal scorer and dependable playmaker. Moreover, the three-time All-Star has no qualms about being a sixth man at this stage of his career, making him a perfect target for teams needing a boost with their second unit. Ellington, on the other hand, is enjoying career-best numbers in his 12th NBA season. While his stats are probably just inflated by playing for a bad Detroit Pistons team, contenders could always use a floor-spacing specialist like him on their second unit. Next up, the Clippers, Lou Williams. Speaking of instant offense off the bench, Sweet Lou is still a great option. The Los Angeles Clippers are reportedly exploring their options with a three-time sixth man of the year winner, making him an enticing candidate for suitors. His usage rate has dropped significantly this season as he plays on an $8 million expiring contract. It's looking like he's not in LA's future plans. Williams' efficiency has also taken a hit this year, but a change of scenery and a new role with a different team might just be what he needs. Next up is the Bulls for Deus Young. Young is enjoying a bounce back season with the Chicago Bulls after a disappointing 2019 and 2020. The 32 year old has embraced a role as a point forward center, averaging a career high 4.3 assists per game off the bench while shooting nearly 59% from the field. The 6 foot 8 forward is a versatile player who could be of use for playoff bound teams down the stretch. The Bulls are a young team that has relied heavily on Young for his veteran presence, but they could look to trade him if they get a strong return. Young isn't slated to hit free agency until 2022, so teams looking to acquire his services won't have to worry about him being an expensive rental player. His partially guaranteed contract in 2021 2022 does offer some flexibility though. Up next is Magic Aaron Gordon. It seems like AG's name has been part of the rumor mill for several seasons now, but it looks like this might just be the year the Orlando Magic move him. Gordon's points per game are down for the third consecutive year this season at just 13.8. His stock is at an all-time low at the moment thanks to an ankle injury, making it the perfect opportunity for teams to trade him without losing much in return. Gordon should be healthy again right before the 2021 NBA trade deadline, so he should be good to go down the stretch of the season. The 25-year-old high flyer is also under contract until 2022, and he's making just over $18 million this season. Up next is the Kings Marvin Bagley 3. Bagley's father infamously demanded his son be traded elsewhere earlier this season. Considering the Sacramento Kings still have struggled to figure out how to utilize him, they might as well dangle him on the market to assess his value at the moment. While the former second overall pick hasn't exactly lived up to his billing yet, it seems too early to label him a bust at this time. The 21-year-old former Duke standout still possesses a unique mix of height, speed, and athleticism. Plus, it shouldn't be too hard to find takers for a promising guy who's still on his rookie contract. Contending teams might not take a risk on an unproven talent like Bagley, Bagley, but there are still plenty of squads that could put into good use. That's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button so we know to produce more content like this one. Until next time.